everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you a super easy crock pot meal, and it is called Chicken Burrito Bowl. This is a favorite for my husband and I. We really enjoy this every time we make it. In the description box below, you will see a link where I found the original recipe so that you can head over there to take a look at it. I use boneless, skinless chicken breasts in my recipe, but you can also use chicken thighs. And now I'm adding in a can of diced tomatoes. Now this can is about twice the size as what the recipe calls for, but I wanted extra tomatoes and I just switched out the liquid in one of the other ingredients to make up the difference. Now the recipe calls for chili powder, salt, and ground cumin. However, I was completely out of chili powder because I use the rest of it when making um, taco seasoning. So as you'll see, I ended up just using taco seasoning, figuring that that would work. And it did work, but I would say that I either needed to put more taco seasoning in or just go back to the recipe itself. Um, I like the seasoning and taste better with the original recipe of the ground cumin, chili powder, and salt. But I was trying to work with what I had and didn't really want to go out to the store just to buy chili powder. It worked out just fine after all, but um, I like the other original way better. Now the recipe calls for some chicken broth. I only added in just a little bit, enough to cover the chicken because there was so much liquid since I used a larger can of tomatoes. So here's what it looks like. This is all you're going to put in there at first. You're going to cover that and put the crock pot on low for about three to four hours. At this point, we're going to come back and add in a few more ingredients. We're going to add in one can of black beans that have been rinsed and drained, one cup of uncooked brown rice, and one cup of frozen corn. And then we're going to go ahead and mix everything together just to make sure it's well combined and that everything is in liquid. At this point, if you need to add more chicken broth, you can do that. And then we're going to put the lid back on and let it go for another three or four hours. You'll know it's all finished when the rice is fully cooked and your chicken is nice and tender. I'm going in here just to mix it up a bit and I'm just kind of breaking apart the chicken using the wooden spoon, but you can pull it out if you'd like and shred it that way, which is what I've always done in the past, but this was far easier, so I think I'll be doing this from now on. Now, if you follow the recipe exactly the way it's written out on the website, then you will definitely have some liquid in the bottom, and I like it that way, but my husband does not. It won't be quite like a soup, but definitely some liquid but I just made sure there was enough to fully cook the rice and the chicken. Um, you don't want to do too little liquid or the rice won't cook. Um, but as you'll see when I show our served up portions later, I did add a little bit of chicken broth to mine just because I like it that way, but my husband doesn't, so it's easier to leave it out. Now, there are a lot of different toppings you can do. We shredded up some cheese, chopped up some lettuce, avocado, and some tomatoes, along with some sour cream sriracha and taco sauce. As you can see, we both make ours up a little bit differently, but um, we serve them with blue corn tortilla chips, and this is a huge favorite. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see my future videos. Thanks for watching.